that's a unorthodox form for a foul shot. Not gonna lie, I've not seen a form like that. Well, I, yeah, that's the first thing I know. Wait, what is this? What's good, Soup City? I'm back with another video on today. I got a very interesting video for you guys. Today, I'm going to be talking about Sega Habit once again and his shooting form. Of course, a couple of months ago, I made a video on his story and why he shot like this in the first place, and it's actually my most popular video on the channel, so shout out to you guys for that. However, recently in a FIBA 3x3 tournament, Sega Habit actually changed his shooting form to something even worse when you consider the shooting percentages. The recent news behind this new shooting form will actually shock you, so let's talk about it right now. To give you guys a quick background story on Sega Habit, he is a 6'4", 214 pound forward from Slovenia. Like any basketball player, he first learned how to shoot a basketball normally and actually had a decent looking form. As you can see by the highlights, he was a sniper from the perimeter as he actually shot close to 36% from 3. Not only that, but he was also a great driver to the basket. Thanks to his 6'7 wingspan, Habit was able to get to the paint easily and create his own shot. Moving on, after some up and downs with his Slovenian basketball career, Habat eventually developed into a star player as he averaged as much as 16 points per game on high efficiency. He even recorded some triple doubles as well, which was great to see. With this in mind, Habat actually declared for the 2020 NBA draft, but unfortunately went undrafted. This left him with no other choice but to go back and play with Slovenia. However, his one in shooting form for some reason went from this to this. This was because Habit actually suffered a really gruesome shoulder injury. He could barely lift his arm up and was left with a lot of pain. Surgery was actually required for this injury, but for some reason, Habit never took it. With this in mind, Habit had to change his shot to something that I cannot even explain right now. With this shot, everything looked normal until he picked up the ball and then he bent rather strangely to the left before the throw. However, that's not even the craziest thing about this. According to a reporter on Twitter, Habit actually shot 80% from the free throw line with this form. Yes, 80 freaking percent. That's 20% higher than Ben Simmons, which is just sad at this point. All those right handed push shots, <laughs> but he was left handed. <laughs> Not only did Sega have a shoot with this form on free throws, but also on jump shots. He somehow managed to be efficient for here as well, which is absolutely insane. Moving forward, after the media started roasting Habit for shooting like this, he actually decided that it was enough and that it was time for a new jumper. This past weekend, his 3x3 FIBA team was invited to a worldwide tournament. Habit was a key contributor to his team as he was actually the leading scorer. With this in mind, he was expected to show out this past tournament and well, he did to some extent. Early on in the first couple of games, Habit was dominating with his inside game. His body control and shift to the basket was truly amazing to watch and he helped Ljubljana to win their first two games. However, something was still off with Habit's game. He was actually scared to shoot a jumper. He passed up on plenty of open ones early on and it looked like he was losing a lot of confidence. That was until he was fouled at the end of the first game and well, it revealed us the truth about his shooting form. That's a unorthodox form for a foul shot, not gonna lie. I've not seen a form like that. Well, I, yeah, that's the first thing I noticed. That is a... Yes, Habit actually decided to change his shooting hand to his right side and shoot with one arm. Like, what the hell is this, man? Some people may say that it was the right thing to do and that it's a much better form than the last one, but it isn't when you consider the shooting percentages. This past tournament, Habit shot 0% from the free throw line and 33% from the field with this jumper alone, which is absolutely horrible. The reason as to why he's shooting like this is unknown. It could be his left shoulder once again bothering him since he hasn't gotten surgery, or it could be that the media got to him and made him change his form. Either way, changing shooting hands in just a short period of time is not a good idea at all. With this in mind, his weaknesses got exposed badly in his last two FIBA games. After his opponents guarded his inside game pretty well, he was non-existent. Instead of shooting jumpers with the amount of space that he had, Habit decided to still go to the basket and take some really bad shots in the paint. Not only that, but Habit's defense was also exploited, especially in the pick and roll. He always came late to contest, was slow on his feet, and even costed his team the game here. With that in mind, Habit's 3x3 team, Ljubljana Center, ended up losing the last two games and were eliminated from making the playoffs. Don't get me wrong, Habit is still a really good basketball player as his inside game is amazing to watch. However, when you take that away from him, he's not existing. I really hope that he adds a jumper to his arsenal and doesn't become like Ben Simmons.
Simmons, an open three. Bruh. Air ball. Anyways, the good thing about this whole Sika habit situation is that he's only 23 years old and still has a lot of time to fix his game. According to Sika Habits himself, he's actually looking to play for the 2024 Olympic Slovenian basketball team alongside Luka Doncic, so I wish him nothing but the best. We'll see what happens though, and that concludes the video. What do you guys think of Sika Habits' new form? Do you think that he will change it once again, or do you think that it will be permanent? Let me your thoughts down in the comment section below. Make sure you guys like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more basketball content, and turn on post notifications to get notified on my official videos. I'll bring us a great day. Peace out.